At least I don't think this design is going uh, obsolete anytime soon, so sure. Get me 20 weeks. Alright. Ah, uh, we need more transports. We need them quicker. But we'll have to make do with this. Alright. We have maximized the number of trade routes allowable under galactic law. So we'll keep that one as a spare in case something happens. to uh to surrender I uh I can't speak much about your surrender choice I mean the corpse we were already planning to kill them so we can just take this I mean I severely doubt the corpse will be willing to put up much of a fight with our new western empire fuck I mean, I bet the Yor are going to be more of a drag than a benefit at this point. First Everest class coming out. This is a momentous occasion. Of course, it's on, like, this amazing shipyard that is in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it's about as far to that front as the other sides. We'll keep building up our battle squad in there. Hmm. Snappy. What's up with them? They still don't have anything. I'm not gonna keep giving them stuff. In fact, maybe it's time we got over there and, uh, and, you know. Yeah, it was cute watching the other major powers struggle to take over this bitch-ass little planet, but... I'm afraid we won't be experiencing a similar problem. Well, apparently we will, because we don't have the range. Now, that's a sad and ironic twist of affairs. Alright, we'll put up a military starbase or something, like, right in its face. Just so we do have the goddamn reach. Or something. Maybe we could conquer more of the new corks lands. Where was that? Alright, take a side track. New Everest class looks to be just what the doctor ordered. I hope. TFV Everest. The first Everest class will move at top speed, which isn't very much. Oh, come on. Look at that. Look at what... Oh, and by the way, if it sounds like I'm genuinely, like, being frustrated, I'm not really, I mean... Yeah, it is kind of annoying to have the enemy literally just pull, uh, squadrons of fighters out of his goddamn ass, and then toss them at you in completely random directions, and get in your rear, in every sense of that phrase. Look at that. If that thing was an invasion transport, things would be markedly more annoying. On the other hand, I think the Vengeance might have overplayed its hand. Because there's absolutely nothing stopping our Valiant Saratoga from doing this. I want to see this in all its detail. What would be best for such a situation? Hmm... We'll try this, even though it won't let us actually see them. Look at that. Look at that. One damage. Go home. I know it's not their design. If it, if it was their design in our rear, that would be another matter entirely. But it ain't. 
The Saratoga has certainly proven useful so far, though. The Hyperion. Are you sure this was really the place to pop out, right next to our Gettysburg-class battle frigates? I mean, I understand why you want to kill, like, transports and other bullshit, but... This really wasn't a smart move, guys. This one's doing more damage, because it's determined to annoy me. But it won't. Be two damage. I'm hoping this does play into some kind of intimidation algorithm where the fact that I'm blowing up so many ships has like psychological effect on the Dringen. Which doesn't seem to be the case. But they still won't take white fucking peace. Because they're... Because... I don't know, they hate us that much. Watch. They will take white peace. Hmm. But now the question becomes, do I want white peace? With the new classes of ships rolling off the line, I'm pretty fucking sure. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys fucked. The Altarians haven't taken any planets yet, but I am actually kind of expecting them. I haven't seen any of their forces, but if they decided to really go for it, they could really harass the Durangans from the other side. Do I want to take peace? I don't think I'm so inclined right now. A freighter? Really? That's what you decided to spend your money on? It's just... it's just gonna die, you know? I mean... There's precisely nothing to stop me from doing this. Seriously, why? You couldn't build one of those badass fighters that would take four squadrons to kill? No, you had to have trade goods. Well, fortunately, every stupid action only enhances our own strength. Maybe Ceres Squadron could get into some real trouble over here. They're not strong enough to be a frontline group, but maybe they can skirmish a bit and really annoy the Drengen. Force them to concentrate elsewhere. Hello. Unescorted troop transport? Please do say hello to, uh... To your death. First of all, I want the Gettysburg to go and repair. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> that was kind of awesome, though. <laughs> and it doesn't make you any less of a man to pick on their non-combatants. Especially since they did it to you. Wow, we can actually join up with them and make ourselves another cool little task force. Alright, the Liberation has replaced the Gettysburg. It'll be a good damage sponge. Whoa! I didn't even know that was there, honestly. We just happened to stumble upon... Hmm. This looks like the bottom of their barrel, frankly. They don't have any beam defense. Or maybe just being around the planet seriously gives them a badass upgrade. In any case, this really shouldn't take that long. One dead before they could do anything. Our shields block their attacks. They have no shields. They have no numbers. It's really easy to tell where this one was going. Oh. 
1,000 million dragon soldiers died as a result of that, and two shitty fighters. Now we took two HP worth of damage. That is unfortunate for the dragon. I mean, if we can keep this up, they're really fucked. Sugar, you have a planet. May I see it? Oh, hey, I may. That's a military star base. Mother... Doesn't look like it's been upgraded much, though. Which that constructor will fix next turn. God damn it. Well, if it somehow doesn't mount guns, then we'll kill it. And even if it does mount guns, I'm pretty confident in our ability to just fucking kill it. After all, it'll just be a big unshielded target, and even with, like,